Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. So I was watching YouTube today and I saw the Green Apple Homes blog post on um, what she does with clothes that aren't really dirty yet. So I'm totally stealing it because I love her and I love that one. So check hers out and uh, I was going to show you today how I organize my dress shoes, which I'm still going to show you, but I thought quickly I'd also share how what I do with my not so dirty yet clothes. Yeah, just like the Great Apple Home, I put my sweaters, I hang them back in the closet because it's freaking cold here. So I'm wearing like a shirt underneath and then I'll put a sweater over top, but I never end up wearing it for the whole day. I'll wear it like when we go out or if I'm cold in the morning, I just hang that right back in the closet. Then we have a system for the other clothes that we have. The other clothes I'm talking about is pajamas. We wear pajamas like three or four days which some of you might be like, ew, but we have a shower and bath. The kids, all of us do, our whole family, before bed. We put on our pajamas, then we get up in the morning, and we um, we get up in the morning, we take them off. So we're really only wearing them to literally sleep, and we're clean when we put them on. So they're why are they dirty? They're not dirty. So we put our pajamas in a pajama spot, and we always have pajama hooks in every room, and that's where we put... My husband also puts like jeans and sometimes I'll put like something that's not really dirty too that's not a sweater on our hooks. So here I'll show you ours. This is a hook, we keep it behind the door so you don't really even see it. You know what I mean? And that's where, um, yeah, so this is my robes because when I get out of the shower I always put on a robe. So I have two robes here that I they just always keep there. I don't wash them all the time. So my pajamas that I wore the night before go on this hook and then um, we keep our belts on here too but I'll usually just throw the clothes that I've worn on top of there too like if I like blue jeans or if there's something like that um, yoga pants whatever that isn't really dirty we throw it on the back of the hook and you can see my husband threw his jeans on his hook here so it's behind the door you don't even see it it's awesome and in each of my girls rooms they have a pajama hook as well and the pajama hook is just when they take their pajamas off they hang it on the pajama hook and then they wear those pajamas again the next day and then they're always like is it dirty yet and then eventually I'm like yeah they're dirty put them in the dirty clothes like after a couple of days so on to how I organize my dress shoes high heels shoes which I don't wear very often there we go if you are an old subscriber you've seen this before loving this system my phone's ringing um, still using it all the time, would never change it. Yeah, this is my closet where I keep all my sweaters. I have a lot of sweaters, eh? <laughs> sweaters and spring coats, but mostly sweaters and my husband's suits are in the back. We have an entire closet dedicated to that. Before we moved here and we didn't have this extra closet, I used to rotate them out for the seasons. And we bought a garment stand, you know, like the garment stands and kept it in storage in the basement. But now I have my own closet! For all my dresses, my skirts, and my sweaters. It's awesome. But anyways, back to here. So these are from the dollar store. They're clear plastic totes. They stack beautifully. And what I did with my label maker is just labeled the color. And on the ones, like, diff if I have the same color but different ones, the heel size. So I have a couple pairs of pink. They're so awesome. And I just label, like, three inch or the one inch or the the half inch and that way I know just by looking at it a lot of people too will take pictures and put them on I'm just too lazy for that so anyways this is a great way to organize your shoes it doesn't take up that much more space but it keeps them from getting scuffed and dirty or damaged and it looks so pretty too so organized that makes me feel organized when I open up my closet and look at that <laughs> because really I'm not a naturally organized person I just keep trying things until I find something that works this is something that works. So that's your tip. We'll see you next time.